gaps in accessibility for disabled person. This comes under GS2 quality. Severe gaps in accessibility for disabled person across courts in India says the recent report by Center for Research and Planning of Supreme Court. So more than half of the district court in the country do not have RAM. Only 25.2% have wheelchairs and just 5.1% of tactile paving so that uh, the, the dis disabled person or visually disability person could not be able to navigate the court building. And then Supreme Court uh, for prelims you need to study about. Supreme Court is the highest judicial body. It serves as the, serves as the final authority for interpreting and up upholding the constitution. The court is composed of judges appointed by the President of India led by Chief Justice of India. So Indian Constitution Chapter 6 and Part 5 permit the Supreme Court to make a provision. So according to Article 124 Class 1, the Supreme Court of India has should have Chief Justice of India and maximum of 7 additional judges. Original jurisdiction, appellate jurisdiction and advisory jurisdiction are 3 divisions of Supreme Court of India's jurisdiction. IASC's develop warm vaccine for COVID-19. So GS3 Science and Tech, a heat tolerant vaccine developed by the IASC researchers is said to be effective against all current strains of SARS-CoV-2. The researchers were working, working on the vaccine since the start of COVID-19 pandemic. So IASC also known as the Tata Institute is a public university for scientific research and higher education located in Bangalore, India. This was established in 1909 with support from Jamshachi Tata and the Maharaja of Mysore. In 2017, the IASC Bangalore was placed number 8 in the list of the world best small universities. Ranking is the result of over 100 years of hard work and high quality faculty independence given to researchers. ILO warns of rise in unemployment decline in real wages. So this comes in a GS3 economy. Global unemployment rate is set to increase in 2024 while growing social inequalities remain a concern. So ILO said in its world employment and social outlook trends 2024. So ILO established by the Treaty of Versailles in 1919. The organization got a Nobel Peace Prize in 1969. The headquarters is located in Geneva, Switzerland. India is a member of ILO. ILO comprises the International Labour Conference governing body and the International Labour Office. So ILC, they provide a policies of ILO. And governing body is the executive body. The governing body meets in Geneva and meets three times annually. ILO is the permanent uh, secretariat of International Labour Organization. It decides the activities for ILO and is supervised by the governing body and the director general. Thank you. Have a great day.